there was an active shooter posted behind these bushes. That's when they say the man drove off and ended up striking one of the deputies. It's located off of Lafayette Street downtown, and police say this area is about three or four feet deep where the man was. Julian, Andy, I'm with Tim Jansen right now, the attorney for Jameis Winston. Mr. Jansen, thank you so much for giving us your time. So Willie Meggs announced that tomorrow he will make a decision in this case. It shows you what activities are good for each trail, such as walking, hiking, biking, and more. Jenkins says it was already dangerous enough that a tree and power lines fell on top of his truck, but believes it was ultimately this that saved his life. So you know what that means. I'll be the intruder for this one. I'm getting suited up and ready. Here goes nothing. <laughs> there you go. BJ's party house is making wax hands for people and they told me they would make a wax hand for me so I'm gonna do that right now roll up my sleeve and I don't mean to make you guys jealous but I'm going into the movie and first of all I'm gonna take my other new friends right here with me when I go into the movie so Leon County's finest is bringing you into their world he went down the hallway with what they could face in a mass shooting situation it takes active shooter to the next level the Leon County Sheriff's Office and Tallahassee Police teamed up Wednesday in a simulated active shooter training at this abandoned building downtown. They're in the unknown right now, so they're trying to figure out, okay, how are we going to do this, how are we going to do that, but you don't know what you're going to see until you get through that door. Officers just wrapped up active shooter training. What they're doing now is called debriefing. For this class, it could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, but in a real-life situation, it could be up to 10 hours or more. What we're trying to do is stay ahead of the game. Saul Bradman is with Security Solutions International, the company hosting this exercise. Well, my uh, motivation uh, truly is to try to get the best tools to these guys, whether it's uh, training and equipment, for them to be able to execute the mission and get home safely. Training in the event it never happens. Uh, I think the public wants this resolved. I think the whole community does. It's now been three weeks since Tallahassee police reactivated the investigation into an alleged sexual assault involving Jameis Winston. State attorney Willie Meggs says he will announce what he's decided Thursday at 2 p.m. Winston's attorney Tim Jansen reacts to the news. I am hoping that Mr. Meggs or someone from his office will contact me prior to the 2 o'clock meeting. Hopefully they'll inform me an idea of what their decision is. Florida State students we spoke with say they're glad the investigation into the star quarterback is finally over. And I feel like he learned his lesson. Uh, whether or not he did it, I'm not sure. But at the same time, um, I do see him growing and maturing as a person. I'm just glad it will come to an end and we can move forward, whatever the outcome is. We just hope that he doesn't get charged and we hope everything goes well. Winston has not commented on the case since the story broke. However, Jansen hinted at him speaking after Meg's press conference. Our goal, Mr. Winston's goal, is to address the media once the case is closed. We'd like to get this resolved. That's why I'm hoping that we can do a press conference after uh, Mr. Meg's and before he gets on the plane. Well, Julie, as you can see, several shoppers are lining up behind me. They aren't giving up on Black Friday just yet because Best Buy held another sale earlier today, just like a lot of other stores, but that's not stopping them from checking out another sale going on at midnight. You've probably heard the news by now. Stores are jumping the gun on Black Friday sales, opening up early. Uh, cold and long. Katrina Fallen waited in line at Toys R Us since a little after noon Thursday. The store was slated to open at 5, but she says they told them the cash registers were down. I'll probably save $200 and only end up spending 100 So it's definitely worth it, <laughs> no matter how long the wait is. About 40 minutes past 5, all was well and people started to flow in. Remember safety first. Down the street at Best Buy, we caught up with the first people in line. They're really good deals, so that's the only reason I'm out here. Other than that, I would have been at home. They opened up at 6 p.m. The year before, it was midnight on Friday. And the year before that, it was 6 a.m. on Friday. It's very exciting. We also stopped by Target, which opened up an hour earlier this year at 8 p.m. I've never done Black Friday before, but uh, it hasn't been too bad. There's, uh, there's nice people to talk to, and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Now, Julie, it's a bit cold out here, but people say they're still going to wait in line for that midnight deal. There's actually a guy behind me with shorts on right now. Are you cold? <laughs> he's cold, but he's not giving up until midnight now. One of the employees here told me that Brown Thursday is just the pregame, but Black Friday is still the real deal. For now, live in Tallahassee, I'm Garen Flowers, WCTV Eyewitness News. All right, stay warm, Garen. Big deals to be had tonight.